I'm Kehlani. I'm a 20-year-old singer-songwriter from Oakland, California. I know yeah. that you are everything that I ever dreamed of. And I just really woke up one day and decided, like, this is what I want to do. You know what I mean? I really want to make music, and it has to be with me telling my story. What else would I sing about? You know what I mean? You know how many girls out there look like me? Tattoos, rough, come from a rough city, look like they beat people up, but they're really soft on the inside and really nurturing and caring. Like, that little girl needs a voice. The little girl who can't go out there and is uncomfortable wearing heels and feels crazy when her dress goes above her, her, her knees and things like that, that little girl needs a voice. I think sonically, my musical style isn't put in one box. I think people tend to categorize me as, as an R&B singer, but I think it's really explorative, I guess is the word. If I hear any type of beat that pleases my ear, I'll touch on it. The consistent thing in, throughout all my music is that it's honest and it's just real stories that I've been through. Came up from nothing, yeah. had to start hustling, had to be something. My process is usually writing everything down. I usually go from my computer, then I have a cool app called Evernote that connects my computer and my phone documents. So I use the computer in the control room and then use my phone in the booth. Um, if I'm really in the vibe of the song, like say I've just finished the first and second verse, the choruses are done, it's just a bridge. Bridges, bridges are usually like repetitive one line type situations. I can really just talk to the guy in the booth and be like, okay, where is so we gotta think of a bridge, two cool lines, let me think, all right, cool, this is a cool one, let's get it. I was always a glass half full type of person. Like, yes, I'll tell you the things that I've been through and I'll tell you the events in my life, but I'll tell you that I'm very grateful that they happened because they made me who I am and they really could have been worse. I'm Jahan Sweet. I produced six of the records on You Should Be Here. The last one we did was The Way, and that was like at the very end of it all. She came to New York. Like I said, hey man, I got this beat. I know like you'll kill it. And I played it for her the very first day. She was there for four days. She played, she was like, mm, I ain't really feeling that. I said, cool. We went through, like she did maybe scratch some other stuff. And then it finally was like the fourth day and we've done like almost nothing. I just, I'll think of something really cool conceptually, like a one line, throw it in my notepad. And then I'll go to the studio, hear a bunch of beats, and I'll either instantly think of something then or look at my notepad and say, oh, this is a cool concept. Let me go back on this one liner or we'll have a conversation in the studio and then that'll spark something. But for the most part, it's like you hear the beat. As soon as you hear it, it's like, oh, this one, let's go. The very last day, I played the beat for her again and she was like, yo, you never played this for me. And I was like, I played it for you the first day. She cut the song in like 15 minutes and then Chance in his verse. We gonna wake your neighbors. With Chance, I literally sent him that song to get feedback. And then he was like, yo, it's super hot. It's like sex in a song. Like, just just save me a verse for the remix. And I was like, or oh, I could just put you on the way And he was like, ah, oh, let's do it. Think that something's going to work, it ends up working. Yeah, there's an initial uh, moment. Like, ah, oh, that's great. It was interpolation of um, All I Do by Stevie Wonder. So the hook was, all I do is stay up all night losing sleep over you. All I do, like it went, it went from the Steve, the complete Stevie Wonder thing to what it is now. We were basically told like, yo, Stevie Wonder costs a lot of money. Don't, don't interpolate Stevie Wonder. Sue so was like, okay, let's figure out how to do this. And was able to make it the song that it is. But at first we were so mad because we, we were so in love with like the Stevie Wonder one because we both love Stevie Wonder, me and Jahan. It's drive myself crazy, think about my it's the way you are, the way you talk, babe. I think artists listen to the song so many times, they start to pick out things that's wrong with it that they, that's not even really wrong with it. You know what I mean? So like, I'm hearing the mastered versions, I'm like, oh my God, we gotta do this again. Oh my God, I gotta recut this. Oh my God, I can do this. And then once we finally get the real one and I've accepted like, okay, we're turning this in, this is what it is. I think with You Should Be Here, I just was emotionally like ready to like, kind of rid myself of all the, everything I was feeling with that. I woke up, made a song, put it on a free music streaming site, SoundCloud, and watched it go from my first song to a mixtape with a Grammy nomination. Which is, it's so, I can't explain the feeling. Like I feel like people ask me how I feel all the time and I don't have a word for it. It's so surreal. You know what I'm saying? I have to literally like, remind myself of like what's actually happening. Love, should it be defined?